Hello people and welcome to the new series 100 Days in Twilight Forest. What is the Twilight Forest you ask? It's a mod for Minecraft in which it adds a new dimension to the game. In this new dimension we're going to go find ourselves in. There's new mobs, new creatures, new loot, new structures, all sorts of things. And I know all we have to do to get to this new dimension is to find some diamonds, flowers and get some water and dig a hole. Let's get into it. To start this off I need to find my chest. Yeah boy give me the chesty stuff and the chest. Pretty soon after that I came across a village and you know what that means. Go say hello to the villagers and grab all the loot. Yeah. Well hi guys. Now it's lockdown time. Yee boy. I shall make use of you guys later. And inside you go and stay. And you. And you. Now I need to get some stone to upgrade my tools from these wooden pieces of poo poo. Plant some lovely berries. Get this little boy inside, go on you go. And lock down. Then I decided it was time to clean this village up a little bit. Now look at that, beautiful and clean. Time to sort some of these paths out and make it look a little nicer. Bit of basement building, just to give myself a little bit more room and some more storage space. Now for some sleepy time. So for the next few days I kind of just did some mining and a little bit of sketchy mining, digging straight down. Which I thought was a brilliant idea, until this. Which was pretty close. But I still carried on mining straight down, can't I? And after a fair few days and a fair bit of sketchy mining, I finally found a decent little cave. So at first I thought it was on this first cave out front that was going to be here. And then I found this giant monstrous cave that I tried showing off until someone rudely interrupted me. And with that I had to get my stuff back and get revenge on a little bar soul. I suppose though it's slightly my own fault for installing an aggressive zombies mod. To make it a bit more interesting and a bit harder until I realised I'm pretty trash at this game sometimes. But here he comes. Hey, get wrecked boy. Now with all my stuff back, I can finally show off this cave a little bit. After that, I decided I need to make a mining base, just to keep all my stuff so I don't have to keep running back up to the surface and back down. And with that complete, I decided it was time for some more sketchy mining to try and find some diamonds. But by day 11, I still haven't found a single diamond, and all I needed was one for this twilight portal. I was honestly starting to give up hope until this beauty came along. Now with my diamonds collected it was only one thing to do, go and find the flowers. But there was only one problem with that. For some reason it didn't record me finding the flowers or making the portal. So I'm going to do it again in creative just to show you guys how I did it. So all you need is water, flowers and a diamond. First you want to make a hole like this and put the flowers on the outside like this. Then all you got to do is place your water in, throw your diamond in, bada bing bada boom, you have yourself a pole. And here's the one I made earlier in my world. Not the prettiest thing, but it'll do. Right, time to go test it out. 